Welcome to my, oh, welcome to my YouTube channel, guys. Today we have a special guest, my best friend, my partner in crime, the human that is blessed to be marrying me on August 6, 2021. Brian, mother trucking, Mark. And you gotta do a walk in. I wanna eat my food. Okay. <laughs> Hold off for a while. So you're just gonna eat. <laughs> yeah. So you guys just, if you guys could just hold off for like five minutes, just uh, we just gotta eat our food. We're hungry. Why do you have more food than? Because <laughs> I got two. No, babe. I. I was literally just gonna say how much I love the cranberry sauce. <laughs> hey, 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 hey! I was just gonna give you more of the cranberry, extra cranberry sauce to have, but no. <laughs> you fucking rude as fuck. So this is my fiance. Brian Mark, and he agreed today at three to do this filming with me. So we are going to tell you guys- Very nice. We're gonna tell you guys a little bit more about our relationship. I want you guys to give us a follow on Instagram. So we have our own little cute as talk couples Instagram, Kmark Fit, as well as if you are a lady and you're into fitness, I run a free fitness community with over 6,000 ladies. I'm gonna drop the link in the description as well as in the comments You answer a few questions. We become best friends and you join my free workouts every Saturday at 9 a.m. PST. We're so in love and grateful. Mm -hmm. My sweet boy, sweetest boy, never farts. Nice. Never doesn't. <laughs> oh. Hello, are you okay? Yeah. All right, guys. So All right, guys. So today's episode is called Random Relationship Questions, and um, Brian and I are gonna go through a series of questions, and we're gonna answer them honestly. So let's just like do a little like right hand in the air. Put your right hand in the air. My name is Kirsten. Uh, uh, What's your name? Brian. My name is Brian. My name is Brian. And I promise. And I promise that I'm gonna tell the complete and honest truth for, throughout all these relationship questions. I will tell everything. Nice. Okay, all right. <clears throat> all right, do you wanna cheers to that? Cheers to that. Okay, first question. Wait. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so first question is, who fell in love first? Kirsten. Pause. <laughs> Pause. What? Okay, I want to add to that because it's not just Kirsten. Kirsten. But no, I <laughs> fell in love before he fell in love with me and then I fell out of love with him because I saw him partying and doing God knows what with women. No. Uh, yes. And then you fell in love with me. And then we started dating. Okay, so the real story is that the second that Kirsten met me, she was in love. And then she continued to be in love I knew that you were going to do this on my okay, channel. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> okay, so when me and Kirsten, we got together and uh, I was her business coach at first. Actually, we met at Center Gravity. I was her business coach and it was always like, we just had like a really good friendship. Kirsten really, she did have a crush on me, but I was her business coach, so I said like, no. And then we just became really good friends and then I was actually the one that told her that I loved her first. Yes! Why are you pooping so much? Because I just ate turkey. Okay. What else does turkey make you do? Oh god. Turkey makes me too. Turkey makes me too. Okay. Which brings me to my next question. Okay. Everything who, makes you too. Who farts more? Kristen. He's liar. He's okay. liar. Okay. Okay. Listen. I do fart more, but one time I hugged Kristen and she farted directly on my hand. I told you. She farted on my hand while Shut I was hugging her. I, while I was hugging her. That's I disgusting. literally. I, I, this kid goes around the house and he's like, he looks at me and he goes, he looks at me and he smiles. He's like, babe, I just tooted. <laughs> like this. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> so our final answer is? Right. Right. But Kirsten farted on me once. Next question. Where was your first kiss? Uh, in Bali when we were wasted. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't remember it's that. It's romantic, right? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> <laughs> First time we went to Bali, it was a little bit of a... It was a little bit of a dog show. Anyways, next question! Who wears the pants? Me. Mmm. Him. Mmm. I think equally. I think it's we have a pretty equal relationship. I 
agree. Yeah. Cause like when I said, when, when that question was asked, I didn't like, I was like, I just said me, but then I was like, maybe Brian, but then I don't really have a well, we solid. Both, I think it's like, we both have non-negotiables. Mm -hmm. So in that sense, like we both do, like we both have like personal boundaries. So it's not like one person wears the pants more than anything. We both have personal Or one boundaries. person takes lead. Like I feel like we're both, uh, we're both leaders in the relationship. So there's certain situations where like Brian will lead and then there's certain situations that I'll lead. Yeah. So I feel like, yeah. And we just work really well together as a team. We both wear the pants. Next question. Next question. Who is the cleanest? Definitely curse. I used to be cleaner than you though. I feel like lately you've been super, super. I have been super. Over over the last like two years, what I've realized is that um, I function better when the house is clean and the laundry's done. So I just take initiative and I have it in my to-do list. Whereas when we first met, I was more like would let things like pile up and then clean. So yeah. Yeah. I would say now I definitely am. I feel I find like I get super busy and then with my business and then I let that be the top priority and then sometimes I'm just like oh, I don't care if I like. Yeah. Clean my car for a wash yeah. or clean it or whatever. Also, I feel like that's kind of like our relationship. Like I do, like I like doing like the cleaning and like the cooking now. Yeah. I didn't at first. So it's kind of like how we work together and then you like pay the bills, baby. <laughs> pay the fucking bills, baby. Papa's bringing home the bacon. Daddy's bringing home the bacon. Daddy's bringing home the bacon. Daddy's bringing home the bacon. Home the bacon. Next question. Next question. Who is the funniest? I was going to say me, but I have, and my, I have my actual answer. I think it is. I think it is Kirsten because I'm. I spend more time being serious with business than I do doing funny shit. Um, I agree with that. I think that I'm more all of the time funny. Like I think my life, like I'm always joking all yeah. the time. Like I'm never even in a podcast if it's a serious topic. Yeah. Like I fucking crack a joke all the time. But I think when it actually comes to like funny, I think we're both equally funny. Cause like you make me piss myself laughing. <laughs> Like the other morning, you guys, I asked him <laughs> to dance for me. I was like, can you dance for me? And he was singing, started from the bottom, now we hear something like there, like that. And then he like walks out and he starts taking off his clothes. He's like, started from the bottom over here. And he did this striptease while taking. I was like, I was pretending. I was no, pretending. it was all the way up. He's like, all the way up. And then he would take off his shirt. She's, and like, she's like, can you dance for me? And I was like, pretending that I like did not enjoy it at all. Like I was forcing him to dance and it was the, funniest thing I was crying I was crying so I think that we equally like make each other laugh so I think that we're equally funny next question these are gonna be off the top of my head oh good okay who is stronger me I lift weights he's definitely stronger and yeah it frustrates me because because sometimes when we're arguing he just picks me up and I can't do anything about it you're stronger but, 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 if we were to like, but, 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 and so she was interviewing me for this like school project that Haley had and like Haley was interviewing me and then her and Haley made me like this like gift care basket with all of my favorite things because Haley interviewed me for her school project and figured out all my favorite stuff. It was pretty cute. I think that it's like pretty <clears throat> fucking equal too because he's done like one time he during the pandemic we alternated date nights. So my first date night was I created, I brought the lottery to our house. So I went and got like, we put online fucking gambled. Yeah. Remember you're running around the house every time you want. Dude, I won $7,000. $7,000. And then the next weekend, T plans this like secret scavenger hunt uh, picnic for me where he wrote a ton of notes and it led to a picnic with my favorite sandwiches. And it was like, it was super, it was super, super cute. It was super cute. And he writes really like romantic cute posts that always just make me just wanna eh. Um, do you have matching tattoos or will you? We actually do, do. have matching Let's tattoos. Let's show our matching right. tattoos. King and queen. So cute. We have them. We, we have them, we tattoos. did it. What's your favorite thing about Kelowna? Ooh, I like that. Um, I would say favorite thing about Kelowna right now is the gym that we have now. That I was literally 100%. gonna say the same thing. Like guys, like shameless plug, like I'm wearing my Iron Energy shirt. Like, yeah. I'm quickly becoming, I have like an Iron Energy mask now that I wear around everywhere. He's like, the I'm, Iron I'm, Energy I'm mask I'm quickly boss. realizing that like I really do love running the gym. Like it's really exciting, like our equipment's cool. I think that over the last two years, like we've just like created this cool home space. Like Daniel's over here working every single morning now we go to the gym in the morning we have like a cool group of friends around here so yeah. i think that like Kelowna in general now is like it's it feels a lot more like home and 
fun for me than it did two years ago. One of those reasons being the gym, one of the reasons being that we've just like grown here and like created a community here. I, I think the best part about Kelowna too is that like we're currently in the phase of like growth. And so Daniel's at our house now and making content all the time. And I feel like over time, this is just going to expand to where we have like four people that are working with us all the time. And then we've got like a bigger team and like I agree. we're serving more people. And yeah. like some of our coaches move down here. Like I feel like it's only a matter of time and the gym is just like, the, the, the like the gym took like all of our like our dreams and our like internet visions and made it into like a physical location. I, I love and that. I, and yes. I feel like it's just gonna get bigger and bigger. I completely agree. All right, guys, that was random question, random relationship questions with Curse and B Mark. Do you want to like high five or something? If you guys want to follow us on TikTok, we have a TikTok that's fucking hilarious. Only at the gym. How's that video? The last video. Only it's only at the gym, but it's only one T. So it's only A T H E gym. Yes. Only at the gym. Yeah. And um, we would love to have you guys follow us on there. And we also have our own Instagram. And is there any last words you would like to say to the YouTube audience? Nice. Thanks for watching. <laughs>